Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. If you are new around here, I am Anna, this is Trevor, we are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. How excited are we today? We're on a Greek island and we're in a little town. We have been waiting to see these white buildings with blue for a very long time. Let's go explore Naxos. So we are down now at St. George's Beach and that's where we're gonna start the day because, well, our hotel is behind us. It's called Calergus. It's smack dab in the middle of town. It's filled with some beach clubs and places to eat. It's conveniently located because you can get to town pretty fast. We unfortunately had to leave the beach. It was a bit too windy and now we're just exploring some streets. So if you are wondering where Naxos is, it's the south of Greece. It is the largest Cyclades island. I think there are about 20,000 people on the whole island and 6,500 in the town. Pretty small and cute. <laughs> yeah, it might be the smallest square that I've ever seen, but look at this little chapel over here. That's one cool thing about Greece. So far, like everywhere you go, there's random small chapels, and now we got a fountain, but more importantly, we think there's some euros over there or gyros. Gyro? <laughs> I think it's euro. But we're gonna try this place out called uh, Euro Euro. All right, here we go. So Anna got the chicken euro. And if I'm saying that wrong, just correct me. <laughs> but we got some chicken on there, tzatziki. There are some onions that I see, tomatoes, and French fries, or as they call them, Naxos potatoes here. So excited to try this. Not eat the paper. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, wow. Nice and gooey. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. The chicken actually comes on a spit. They peel it off or like scrape it off. It's got this nice flavor to it. A little bit spicy, but not really. Just that nice and flavorful. I think I need to take another bite to get more. Alright, I got the pork. It's probably a little more traditional, but um, man, this looks so good, guys. I, I think you can see that. Let's, let's go. Oh. Yum. I'm gonna go in for another bite, because I'm, I'm not quite decided yet when I think of this. So here we go. Mm. Oh, it's good. And it's messy, and that means it's real good. So, what's going on in here? First and foremost, the pita is ridiculously good and a little charred, and we always like things like that. The meat is tender, it's still cooked over time, which is probably why it's extremely soft. Then there are some tomatoes on there, and the tzatziki is just delicious. Like, overall, this is so good. And throw on the french fries, or Naxos potatoes. What is going on with these euros? That was in Incredible. So recently we were hanging out with the Endless Adventure in Athens and we went out and shot a food vlog with those guys. I'll link it down below. We went searching for these euros or gyros, euros, but we, we couldn't find them. And I'm sure, well guys, if you're watching, I'm sure you've had them by now, but whew, that was so good. So good. And I looked up a little bit of history of them. They actually are derived from the donor kebab and they came to Greece after World War II. So somewhat recently, and they kind of just converted them into their own thing. Yeah, I tell you what. They're worth it if you're here. Get those things. We got french fries on them. So it may be super windy today, but it's also really sunny and hot, and I need a hat. Plus, you know, and a good Instagram hat. Soft. I like it. It suits you. It's nice and white. Hat number two. Uh, I like it. Maybe uh, my vote might be with the first one. All right, we got hat number three. Ooh, this one is, uh, it's given number one a go. This one has full mangoes. <laughs> you gotta be pretty brave to pull that one off. All right, got my hat, and if you were wondering which one it was, it was number one. But speaking of attire, does anybody remember Trevor's pink shirt? Who remembers the shirt? Comment down below if you know where we got this from. Port. Here you're gonna find lots of people 
Yeah. Lots of restaurants and cafes, some boats, and the ferries. Speaking of ferries. So you're gonna see one way out there. It says fast ferries on it. So ferries are how you get to all of the Greek islands for the most part. It's, it's the most convenient way, I would say. There's at least like hundreds and hundreds of islands. So that's the way you get around. Apollo. I think it used to be a full temple in like 500 BC. It's super old. So old. So old. <laughs> but now it's just like this doorway. Yeah. It's really cool. A really cool looking doorway. It's like one of the first things you see when you come in here by ferry. So let's go take a look at it. Alright, we just got into the old market and I gotta duck my head here. Whew. So now we're in the kind of windy street area and I believe we're gonna make it up to a castle. I know this is like the old town of Naxos. We're also very happy that it's no, no longer windy. So down these windy old streets, you're gonna find lots of little shops and maybe some restaurants. That's really cool because look how tight the quarters are and there's just clothes hanging everywhere. We are now inside the castle, and by that I mean, well, we're not in an actual structure, but this is the castle. It includes the outdoor area too. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure people live here. Yeah. We're just walking around. Some of the doors definitely look like they lead to people's homes, but then there's just random doors that look like they kind of go nowhere. Yeah. So funny enough, last year we were in Croatia. I don't know if you followed along in there. You should go back and watch. Yeah, if we'll, not, we'll it. but we visited so many old fortresses there. They were all built by the Venetians, just like this place. Fortresses. Venetians, they were everywhere. Like, can any of you guys imagine living here? And I don't mean just in the sense like living here right now as of today. Imagine living here like that many years ago. I can't, I can't even fathom that. It's still so windy, especially up here, but this is worth coming up to see that view. We're at 1739 uh, Terrace Cafe, and we knew this was at the top, but we did not expect this. So now we're kind of, Anna's over here, tucked away. Hiding from the wind. We're, we're hiding from the wind. I'd, I'd go back over there and try to talk, but I can't. You wouldn't be able to hear me, so just be aware if you're up here, it's windy, but always worth it for these stunning, stunning views. So over here is Mount Zeus. It's the highest point in Naxos and maybe Cyclades. Not sure about that. So uh, while we're uh, dodging the wind over here, we got a pretty good view of it. I'm gonna walk this way. It's gonna get really loud. I'm gonna try to give you guys a better look at it. It's starting to be covered with clouds. It is way off in the distance there. It is pretty big, very impressive. Whew, it's windy up there. I don't know what's up with this town. It's one of the windiest towns we've been in in a very, very long time. Now we're trying to get down from the castle. Do you remember how to do it? Nope. 
She said something like second left go straight, third left go straight, and then she lost us. So, uh, I don't know if we go this this left. Yeah, let's do it. Well, that's right. But. All right, we definitely took a wrong turn. But I'll tell you one thing, the alleys keep on getting cuter as we go. I haven't quite seen anything like this in any place we've been. The lighting looks amazing. Everything's lit up because everything is white. And then there's like colorful doors everywhere. Gorgeous. Hannah's already uh, digging in over here. What do you got? I got cookies and cream. Yeah. And Ferrero Rocher. Cookies and cream and some Ferrero Rocher. Mm -hmm. We've seen so many people at this place trying it out. So uh, do it up. Let's see what you think. Mm. It's good ice cream. Yeah, the Ferrero Rocher totally tastes like Nutella, which I love. <laughs> and then it's basically like an Oreo cookie. It's the best. So I got coffee and. I don't know how to say that one. It's like an Italian um, ice cream, but I'm mixing them together and giving it a try right now. Mm. Oh wow. Like we said, the lines here have been pretty crazy. It's a little late in the day, so we did not get a waffle cone. So we just opted to go just like this. Because we want to make sure we eat dinner tonight. But I'll tell you what, this is exceptionally good. So far in general, everything in Naxos has been exceptionally good, minus the wind. So today has been maybe one of our more challenging vlog days <laughs> yeah. just because of the wind. It's been crazy, but we still had so much fun, loved the food, everything we ate was so delicious, and we love those streets. They're so cute leading up to the castle. Yeah, there's there's so much to do here on the island in general, so today we're just in the town. Remember that. If you watched our last vlog, we were at Aliko Beach, which just is like a little bit south, um, and we were exploring that area, which was so unique, so very different, so check that out. Next up, we're heading over to Peros, which is about 45 minutes away by ferry. I can kind of see it now over there, so that's going to be super Super fun to see the differences between Naxos and Peros. All right, guys, that's it. From Naxos, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.